Welcome to the world's busiest international airport. Each year, Heathrow sees almost 70 million passengers traveling through its doors on the way to sunnier climes, traveling on business, or just going to see friends and relatives. Many of the passengers coming through here are families. And when you're traveling with families, you have a very different experience to when you're traveling by yourself. We're always trying to do things that will make the journey better for our passengers. And today, we're going to be talking about how we can learn more about what's important to families. My name is John Holland Kay, and I'm the commercial director here at Heathrow. This summer, we've put families at the heart of what we're trying to do for passengers during their summer vacation. We've introduced special family lanes for people traveling with children. We've got free meals for children at some of our restaurants, and we've got free play areas so that children can burn off some energy before they go on their flight. But we know we've got a lot more to do to make sure that we deliver a really terrific passenger experience. So today, we've invited some of the leading mummy bloggers to come and tell us what they think we can do to make their journey better. My name's Claire and I write Being a Mummy blog. I'm Jen and I um, write at Mum in the Madhouse. I'm Sean and my blog is um, Mummy Tips. My name is Sally and I blog at Who's the Mummy? Two months ago, a blogger named Anna Krasniewska, who writes the New Diplomats blog, wrote a series of posts talking about her bad experience trying to take milk through security for her baby. When we read it, we could see why she was so frustrated. That's why we want to learn from the mummy bloggers about what their other frustrations are and how we can do better for their journey. Should we start by thinking about coming to the airport? It'd be really good to get your thoughts on what, what your recent journeys have been like. It can take me an hour and a half to get here, or it can take me four hours to get here. It's a huge variable, it is. isn't it? It is. Yeah. And so you drive yourself, do you? Yeah. yeah. Most yeah. people coming to Heathrow from outside London, if you've got kids, you drive. You drive, because yeah. It's about, yeah. You limit the number of opportunities of things to go pear-shaped. Yeah. yeah. I thought our journey here was really great this morning. I was actually really surprised. It was really quick. It was easy to find the car park. The only thing was there weren't any mummy and baby parking spaces. Or oh, I didn't yes. see any. That's they weren't yeah. clearly yeah. signposted. Mm. Heathrow's a big airport, is, so they may yeah. have to do a really long walk from mm. the gate to get the baggage to come through. It would be really great to think, actually, there's priority parking that would be a little bit nearer. My two are five and six, mm. and I had to let one of them out. Mm. one side this morning to get parked into a car park. So parking bays that were... A bit wider. A, a bit, bit wider, wider. Mm -hmm. and were at the front. And the whole thing is just a, a real sort of hassle. Mm. Would uh, family parking bays help It would help really with that? help, I mm. think. Obviously, there's the trolleys there. Mm. If you've got a child and a trolley, you can't push a trolley and, and hold hands with two children. So mm. That kind of ability to... Well, we resort to Even if it's just having shoulders. somewhere that you can put your pushchair yeah. underneath, and yes. then somewhere that you can put your child. Yeah. Because they are so tired, it's really long distances yeah. for them. Maybe yeah. aid on the website with kind of tips on how to do all these things. We need some bloggers who can... Yeah. ...come up with some <laughs> good examples of those. Are there any points where you wish there was someone to help you? Queuing's checking. Mm -hmm. Queuing. Checking, checking yeah. in and queuing. So, yes. Well, let's talk about security then, because that's the bit we have got some control over. I have had a double mastectomy, mm -hmm. and I would normally wear prosthetics. Yeah. I didn't know whether to put them on today mm. or not, because I didn't know what to do with them. Well, that's something but, we can solve quite easily, yeah. actually, you know, by having you know, something just, on the website. Just quite, but... you know, embarrassing. Mm. And, and mm. the other thing for me with security and the children is that they don't know what it is, and it scares them to a certain extent. Mm. You know, you don't know if you're going to get stopped. And the main reason why you get stopped is because you'll be, you'll have something on your person that isn't always immediately yeah. obvious. Is the way of resolving that giving you more information? If there were areas like that where you do have to stand in a confined space, like a queue for a security, if you had something at child's eye level along yeah. there that kind of explained, this is what this is, mm -hmm. and yeah. this is what's going to happen, that actually that's then accessible to them. It is just about explaining them and giving us the power to explain it to them as mm. well. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we're distracting them as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we have introduced since Easter peak holiday times. We've got family lanes. You don't have to queue as long. Yeah. And actually, it makes sense for all passengers. People hit flying with children, <coughs> and, uh, other passengers. Yeah. And so to a certain extent, I can be quite worried about mm. what my boys are going to do. And it's not because they're being difficult. They're being yeah. children. The thing that we found that worked, um, worked really well was having stickers for for kids as they were going through security or yeah. they, they become more focused on the sticker and, and what have I got to do to earn it mm. than on the yeah. whole experience. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be worth putting together um, you know, information packs or, or for travelling with children of specific ages. Mm. If, because um, they have separate, they have different, they different needs. needs. So how about stuff you carry with you? Eggs and cream, things like that. You just don't 
think they can be classed as liquids. That's right, absolutely. Yes. We've introduced what we call a sort of breakfast bar. So as you walk along, you can put your bag down, you can get your stuff out, and you can you can be in the queue at the same time yeah. as putting yeah. your stuff in, into the plastic bag. Mm. And that seems to have gone down reasonably well. And I think that chimes with your point earlier about well, actually, we could do something around that yeah. that's a sort of, I don't know, where's Wally or something that they could mm. spot things yes. or, or keeping yeah. them entertained. Yeah, spotting different, having different things around the airport for them to look for. That you could have a, a, sheet, a sheet that you can download off of the website yeah. that's yeah. like a treasure, treasure, you know, a treasure yeah. trail. Yeah. At the Darwin Centre at the Natural History Museum, you go in and the child gets a little ticket. Mm -hmm. You can make a sort of passport and then they go to various Maybe stations scans. and yeah. they can mm. scan as well. Is there anything that you can't take through security that you'd like to be able to have on your journey that I think baby formula? Young, it's formula, it's things like that with, with, younger people, with the younger babies, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I don't think as a parent you would ever chance not having your formula with you. No. And when we were on our way out, the, the guy in front of us at security, they had bottles of baby milk. And I just think it's like so bizarre that, you know, you, you have to drink it to taste mm. it. I mean, it's just like... The assumption is that if you've got something in there like an acid, actually, if you drunk it, you would fall flat on your face pretty immediately. I think the difficulty we've got, we've got rules that we've got to stick yeah. to. Mm. But as it stands but then at the maybe moment, it's about having the reassurance of knowing that you can get it on the other side and maybe yeah. being yeah. able to pre-order. You can do that. You can go to Boots, you can order what you want. Yeah. You but you would pick never think about doing that. It's Every about having years. all this yeah, yeah, family the most, information the in one place. Used. Is it? Product, yes. The, the thing people yeah. most ask for with oh, reserve right, and collect yeah. is baby okay. milk. Yeah. See, I didn't yeah. even know that you could do reserve and collect. We need to we tell need more to, people. Yeah. 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 It's just to say, it's about, it's just about keeping all this information in one place. In one easy place. Yeah. We've been building our app, which is starting to be quite quite useful for that kind of thing. I think you need multiple vehicles, don't yeah. you, that sort of yeah. thing, because you everybody's do. got somebody Something. very tech-savvy yeah. will yeah. use one yeah. mechanism I mean, and somebody I'm else actually wants a piece of card with it written on. So we've come through security and we're into the departure lounge. This is where it becomes more important for me to keep them occupied. So a film, something that they can sit down and watch. Actually, video games. We've now got a, we've got a player in each of the each of the terminals. They're new, so yeah. if you yeah. haven't seen them, it's Isn't the one in Terminal 3, though, it's down by one of the gates and you don't even know it's there? We were like, oh, yeah, God. It's publicizing it. Yeah. We're just on it on the something. TV, because there's, like, endless adverts. So there's, you know, there's one TV, TV. Mm. the kids can watch. Mm. And you're really conscious that your children are making a noise. <laughs> there has to be another passenger. The yeah. thing that I do find really difficult is actually the seating is not family friendly at all because they're kind of quite narrow seats with the metal sides. And actually, right. if you've got a child who wants to sit on your knee <laughs> or is sleepy, it's the world's most yeah. uncomfortable thing. Mm. Food-wise, it's much better in here with Wagamamas and, and giraffe yeah. and things because they're much more fun, family friendly. Yeah. And promoting the fact that you've got all of this information on your website, if I knew that there were things there that we're good really for me. useful. Yeah, yeah. as a traveller. You're going to make that into a useful tool that people are going to use. So somewhere with, where, you, where you don't feel you're in the way, where the yeah. children have something to entertain them, whether there's the right kind of seating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed we've got purpley clad people around, usually say, here to help? It'd be nice to be able to book them, wouldn't it? Somebody to Somebody help you. Somebody to help you. Yeah. But if, you know, being able but to... if you knew that people were there... You know, I am a little bit disaster prone generally in life and travel often doesn't work out well for me. So I'm quite prepared to stand and look at something for 10 minutes and work out, OK, so I need to be there and then I look at my, then I look at my ticket again. Can't do that if I've got a child with no. me. And actually, that's where it would be tremendously mm. useful to have mm. someone to say, oh, actually, can you just tell me where that mm. desk is? Yeah. Yes. OK, so something around visibility. <laughs> one, one, one very visible thing, we have uh, characters coming into the terminals. So we had uh, Peppa Pig at Easter. We had Little Miss Sunshine in, in, yes, uh, earlier, in the summer. In and for the kids who weren't expecting them, they loved them. Yeah, and it my was, kids it was really tremendous. Loved that. The final area we want to talk to you about is actually when you come back into the country. You arrive at the gate, um, you've got to first of all head to immigration, and then you've got to go and collect your baggage. Do you have the machines here? Yes, yeah. we do. You have a trip to passport. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. Can run there are gates, you can just, just run through that. Through. Okay, yeah, but then you see, the thing is, as you're a family, you don't all have passports that expire at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah. you've got yeah. half, you know, half of the family have got new passports and half of them yeah. others. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, so maybe a special family, family aisle. Lane, don't you? Yeah. you need a family lane, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Using the same way that you would have a family track going out, mm. then, you know, you should have one coming back mm. in as well. Yeah. Sammy was really traumatised coming back from Italy because he, he was sick on the plane. If we'd have cut off the plane, and there'd have been somebody there just to help us and yeah. say, look, they don't wait here for two hours. Yeah. So we need sort of people, so it's like a meltdown. sort of thing. So yeah, you can yeah. sort of people mm. that need a bit of and help. And I think that's the place of, of all 
smaller bits where actually the idea of, of being Some, able yeah. to pick up a push chair mm. would really work because it is a really long mm. walk and they are really tired. And then if you've got to queue... What, what about getting push chairs if, you, if you're travelling with, with little ones? Well, I, think it's, it, I mean, it varies from airline to airline, doesn't it? Which yeah. is one issue. We could at least tell people which airlines... Yes. Yeah. 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 Have a, yeah, have that a list. We would certainly like to work with the airlines to try and get them all to... Yeah. Give the uh, push bears, chairs back at the gate. You get quite neurotic in the kind of baggage claim as well because you've got people barging over them yeah. to try and pull these huge yes. suitcases off. And actually, it would have been brilliant to just be able to strap her into a push chair mm. and know she was safe. It's, it's about and how about people safe. to help you get bags off, particularly if you're travelling? I think that would really help us mm -hmm. because we're trying to see what they're doing. They can't sit anywhere. They're kind of wandering off. You're holding on to them, trying to get the suitcase as well. Yeah. If we had somebody there, happy mummy, happy baby, if you can get the mums happy and not stressed about all these different things. If you keep the children happy, then I'll be, I'll be yes. happy. Well, our objective is to make you both happy, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we should be aiming for. My kids for. are kicking off and, and driving me mad. That makes me even more stressed. But they pick up when I'm stressed When you're as worried well. about something, yeah. There's a, there's a load of stuff that we can do here. A lot of it's about having the, the right kind of information for people mm -hmm. and yeah. um, making it easily available so that you can help plan your journey. Making it easier at, at, at certain points mm -hmm. around the car park so you can yeah. uh, find somewhere to leave your car where you're not going to be bumping into people. There's some points along the way where having somebody to help mm -hmm. yeah. is useful. There's certainly more, more around entertainment and, and just the right kind of environment for children mm -hmm. at, at, at different points, particularly down by the gate. Yeah. I'm sure you won't, be, you won't be shy in telling us other things you've thought yes. of and uh, whether you like what we've done or not but um, it's been terrific yeah, being able tough. to talk to you and listen to your ideas and what your experience has been so thank you so much. Well what a fabulous day it's been. The mummy bloggers were just left with their children all looking a little bit tired and exhausted and that's just the mums. We've had a really good conversation with them to learn more about what we can do to help make their journey better. Some of it's about giving them better information before they fly. Some of it's about making it easier for them to get into the airport. And some of it's about giving them more places where their children can either rest or burn off some energy before they catch a flight. We've taken away things that we're going to do differently, and we're hoping that the mummy bloggers will come back both when they next fly and separately and tell us how we're getting on.